Hello guys and welcome to episode 11 of my Rome 2 Total War campaign playing as the Sassanids. This is Empire Divided and today we are going to be crushing the traitors at Gerha. So Gerhia uh, did not accept our call to war and instead claimed independence and uh, we are going to kill them for that. Uh, we also have uh, Rostam's companions coming to take back Thapsicus, so we'll get that on the go as well. Uh, so lots to do. Uh, we have plenty of cash to spend. Uh, let's just make sure that our army is recruiting. It is. Avengers First Cavalry is doing just that. And uh, our agents have already moved, so we can spend the rest of our cash on buildings. Although, before I forget, what I want to do is get a new agent here at uh, Jury Europus so that I can use my mass poisoning against Palmilla. So I'm assuming the best one would be the assassination chance, who's his highest basically. And I'm pretty sure it's this guy. The plus 5% chance of positive outcome on solicit traitor. Uh, he also gives us extra public order which might be good for when we sort of conquer new provinces. So we'll go for that for now. Um, and he might be able to reach Thapsicus next turn and attempt an, uh, attempt a poisoning, even though his chance at the moment might not be that high. Um, the other thing we want to do is uh, upgrade settlements. So like last time, I'm going to look at these glass blowers and we're going to try and upgrade them to glass makers because, again, that gives us more research rate, which is definitely something I want to stack sooner than later, just so that I get my technologies complete. Now, our research rate did drop because the event that we had finished. So we're on 216%, but there's still a lot of research rate. That's all of our cash spent and everything done, though. So let's move on to the next turn. So I'm really hoping we can maybe finish off Palmera in the next couple of episodes. And uh, we'll try and move on to take out the rest of Arabia as well. We'll have to wait and see how we get on though. I feel like taking all of those Arabian lands is actually going to be quite a bit more difficult we than we think. Profit in further bloodshed. You have fought with honor, but it is time to staunch deep wounds. Okay, we are not going to accept that <laughs> as we are going to destroy them. Their army did just move very close to me. I humbly propose and Bosporu is asking for a defensive alliance, but we are not going to take that. Bandit tree in Mesopotamia. How annoying. Missing taxes. So that's going to reduce our income for this turn. Huh. Sucks. Right, I'm hoping that... Anyway, the Burning Sands are here at Yathrib, and I'm hoping that that will mean that if I attack Gerha, which is... Currently completely unoccupied. Um, that um, that will just destroy that army, especially if I raise the settlement. So let's uh, grab this army here. Forgotten warriors and uh, Schmidt's commandos. Uh, we will move the Fury of Ragnar down. And I'm just going to continue the siege. We'll bring up. The rest of my guys here as well, just in range to reinforce, maybe a little bit further forwards so that this guy can tuck in behind. And that should make the auto resolve well in our favour. Never mind. That guy is not in range. There we go. Oh, no, still not working. <laughs> Just want this uh, this army in there, so that the auto resolve basically causes us to lose like zero men, which is the best outcome for sure. So we are going to raise that goodbye to you, Gaia, and they are destroyed. Okay, so that deleted that army near Yathrib. Nice. Let's uh, use our cash to repair this and the fort and the port there. We'll get the well, and uh, we shall also get the city center. Going for more commerce is always a better idea. 
Um, I might go for the trader in Yathrib and we'll also go for the town guard at Alimatu. Reducing banditry seems pretty important, especially if events like what just happened can pop up. Might also go for the royal sanctuary as well, just to continue the cultural influence. Um, and then what we want to do is maybe take care of these armies. I mean, what's Sabah doing here? Uh, we could just target Sabah next, go for Malib. Because they're just hanging out in our province, which kind of sucks. Um, let's hit them with a military sabotage this turn. And if they get up to anything, they will be at a disadvantage. Because I just want to weaken all of the Arabian armies if I can. I'm going to head Haidani's down to Mascat. So how much damage did we do there? The Merchants of Death, they took quite a lot of damage. And uh, Haidani's can just go into Intelligence for this turn. So I guess we can have maybe two armies head down to Mascat. Uh, one maybe head towards Malib. Well, actually, we should probably do it the other way around because Malib is a capital settlement. I'll have to choose my best army and send them towards Mascat. So which is my best? Probably Shmini's commandos, just because they have the elephants, they have the Grim Pamvar cataphracts, they've got a lot of cavalry that's decent. Yeah, the Forgotten Warriors, definitely not the best. And honestly, have a spare slot. I may as well just pick up some hamps for infantry to fill the gap for now. Alright, Permis leveled up. So I'd like to get more mass poisoning. I guess for now we can just increase furtiveness for the extra assassination chance. And our new agent here actually needs to have a household. So I'm pretty sure this leopard disguise is pretty good. Plus 10% chance of critical success in all actions. Perfect. Alright, let's uh, zoom around to Thapsicus and see where that army's gone. Ah, there it is. Okay, I didn't actually go too far. We'll go for the military sab sabotage anyway. Only 40% I think it was. Successful. Very good. And increase in rank for Xerxes. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. Just with K's instead of X's. So he's going to become a spy. Get the mass poisoning on the go. Ostan's companions, can he reach Thapsicus? He can. So he might as well just go and take that since we can't actually attack the army itself. And oh, looks like we can just pick it up. Nice. Uh, we will have to convert this to the village there and build up the shrine and the nomads camp because I'm pretty sure, sure that's what we had before. I'll stick to it. And then next time hopefully we can attack the Legion of Yalabol. We'll try and hit them again with a mass poisoning as well. It is an honor to serve you. Fury of Velathragna, the general leveled up, what can we get? Vicious Spoiler, we don't use uh, raiding or looting too often. Master Defender, plus 8% armor for commander's unit and plus 8% melee defense skill for commander's unit, that's pretty nice. I think Master Arch is the best though as it buffs the army in like in all, so that's good. And uh, that will give us extra shots per minute and range for our Persian skirmishes, horse archers, and horse skirmishes. Nice, so that's all of our cash spent. Um, maybe we should pick up another veteran while we're here. We don't actually have enough cash to do so. So we'll leave it for now. All right, let's uh, end the turn. So I remember in my Caesar and Ghoul campaign, I didn't use agents that much. And it definitely put me at a disadvantage throughout the campaign. But in this one, not forgetting to do so has definitely helped me out a lot. That mass poisoning is crazy strong.
So Lydia's moving down with an army towards our capital currently. It's kind of scary. Peace negotiated though between Nabatir and Himyar. And mission successful, the conquest of Arabia. That's after we took over Gehia. So that's given us another 3,000. Next objective is to control the following three settlements, either by direct ownership or through satrapies and military allies. So that's Antioch, Salamis and Tyros. We already own Salamis and Tyros, so just Antioch to go, which is pretty good. And that will give us another 4,000, which is great. Um, let's uh, attack the Legion of Yalabol. That's going to be our fight, so we will poison their provisions again. And it failed this time, but that's okay. We will just go for the attack soon after. Okay, um, let's just fight this on the battle map. I didn't want to cheese you guys out of uh, another battle, so uh, we will jump into this one, and it seems to be taking place on top of a mountain. So we have fog currently. We will wait for it to be dry so that we can use our missile forces effectively. Look at this terrain. That hill is kind of scary. Hopefully they just camp on top of that. And uh, we'll make sure my infantry are lined up. Spears at your command. Spearmen on the flanks. Skirmishes in mid. That's going to be group one. And uh, we'll make them a locked formation group. We'll have the Syrian armored elephants on the flank there. I'll keep my general behind because he does have the command radius. Griv Pambar can stay on the right. Might also be worth having the Dalamite with them. And then we'll have the lighter cavalry on the left with the elephants. All right, let's start the battle. Orders, my lord. We will move forwards and hopefully we'll spot them soon. I mean, we can't see them. My cavalry to try and secure the, kill, secure the hill if they can. Uh, light cavalry can zoom down the bottom. And uh, my elephants can get in here as well. Alright, we'll speed things up. My infantry is all running, more or less. That might hit them with some fatigue, but... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> they are actually all on top of this hill. We do not want to be engaged there. Maybe come down into these horse skirmishes. <laughs> now, this is going to be horrible. They're just all on top of that hill. I'm going to have to have some of my own skirmishes come over and deal with those, because otherwise we're just going to take loads of damage. Alright, so they are taking the high ground. Makes sense, uh, but we're going to have to realign our formation group. So I'm going to take them out of formation group. Let's ungroup them. Have my Dalamites move up like so. We'll keep my spearmen tight on the flanks. We'll still go for a similar position, just further up the hill. I'm going to have my cavalry zoom around the bottom side and we'll have the elephants start to make their way up because I'm pretty sure if they're going to be very concentrated we'll be in a good position. So, that's fine. I have no idea how I'm going to use my cataphracts if they're going to be charging uphill. That could end very badly. We're nearly up here, we're nearly in position. Taking a little bit of damage. Well, I think we got a decent engagement there actually. There's some hillmen actually just coming down to attack us. Interesting. 
All right, let's have my cataphracts come around the bottom side here. My Persian skirmishers are doing a lot of damage versus their horse skirmishers, so that's good. The hillmen are currently cutting down my Persian light infantry relatively quickly. Just flank into the back of these hillmen who are going through my Persian spearmen quite quickly. And uh, I need to make sure that these guys continue to charge. Try and crush their leader, honestly. But right, these guys need to back off. I don't know what happened to them. I think they just got charged. Um, right, these guys need to get into position. Get those spearmen involved. We've crushed those guys. Uh, Griff, Pambar, all need to move around the right side here. Here you Right, their leader is running. Uh, we're just going to charge him down. Crush those scythe chariots. They may be scary. One of our units has gone berserk. But they're not as scary as my elephants. And my elephants going berserk in their lines is absolutely fine by me. Whether or not I'm going to be able to get this charge off though is a completely different matter entirely. <laughs> this is a very, very dodgy charge. Up the hill like this. I guess their charge bonus might just help enough. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, it looks like that worked. Which is good. These guys still going berserk. They are. Okay. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, it is. You crush them. Yeah, they're pretty much all dead. Let's just make sure that my Dalamites just charge down some bigger layers here for me. And uh, my Syrian armored elephants actually recovered, so that's good. I actually left my general behind this entire fight. Ah oh dear, no one saw that. <laughs> We will end the battle there. Was it a settlement battle or not? No, it wasn't. We may as well continue. Surely I have some cavalry here somewhere. I guess we can get the general to do something. Right, what about the rest of the forces running away? The enemy general is dead. Did we catch up to the size chariots? We did. That's that sorted then. <laughs> Just mop up these guys. Looks like they got away. We will quit the battle there. Decisive victory. 671 kills for our elephants. Pretty damn good, if you ask me. <laughs> Griv Pamvar's also got 253 kills and barely took any damage whatsoever. It's a very successful battle there. We will enslave those captives, there is going to be quite a lot of them. And uh, that means we can just move on to the Legion of Yarabal. Let's just uh, 
destroy them once and for all. We'll go for the aggressive stance. Very good. And uh, we will just kill the captives there. Nice. Right, time to move on to Antioch, I guess, but uh, we're going to stay in our territory for this turn. I'm going to move to here and get the replenishment from Palmilla. Right, meanwhile, Xerxes can move to Antioch and uh, Armenia was going to attack Tarsus, but... Doesn't look like they're, like they're in the right position to do so. Eastern rebels have taken over Kalana. And yeah, we have that army coming down here from Lydia towards our capital. Hmm. I feel like the Fury of Verathragna maybe needs to head back up north. We'll have Schmidi's commandos and the Forgotten Warriors continue on. Actually, maybe we'll just send uh, the Forgotten Warriors back. Yeah, we'll send the Forgotten Warriors back. Hormids can head back to his capital. The other thing, though, is that we do have Avengers First Cavalry here. I guess if we stay there, we can maybe intercept Legio Three Augusta, that army. I wanted some Persian horse archers. They do more damage than camel archers, by the looks of things. Camel archers just have more melee attack and melee defense. And they also have different abilities. So if we'll go for Persian horse archers, that's fine. And um, for the last couple slots, I think we probably want at least one more unit of Dalamite infantry. And then maybe a third Griv Panvar cataphracts. Or let's get a Zavarin cavalry. I said I would get some, so we'll get those just to have a look at them. Alright, these two armies, I feel like I should just kill off Saba, because their army is like right here already. And uh, we are still trading with Maska, and they aren't moving, so I think it'd be easier to attack Saba. I'm going to do that. Let's have Shmini's commandos ambush this army after we go for another poison provision. And that was successful. Merchants of Death in a very bad spot. Let's uh, get the Fury of Erethragna to help us out as well. Okay. Uh, Arabia Magna does have a open slot, which I might take advantage of. And we'll go for... Maybe the outskirts there. We do already have the town guard at Adumatu. The extra hundred wealth from manufacturing is pretty nice. Let's declare war on Saba. Take out this army. We've ambushed them <laughs> in a pretty bad spot there. <laughs> so we'll go for aggressive stance. <laughs> Goodbye to that army. I don't know what they were doing in my lands. I'm guessing they were maybe trying to attack Gahia, but I'm not sure they were at war with them, so we'll just uh, release those captives for now. And uh, we shall get back onto the road <laughs> and continue. Make haste, man. Your next command, my lord. Ready for battle. On the move, my lord. How can I be? And Palmer's really helping us out there with that battle. Um, Hydani's. I'm not sure if I need to do anything to these armies just yet. I guess we could start with the military sabotage. I revel in destruction. That army will just be really weak by the time we get there. It just did so much damage. Cartier is not doing his administration, so we'll get on with that. Asumis and Sogdians are still fine. Fury of Verathragna 
looks like their traditions have increased. So we'll go for the extra campaign map movement range. All the other armies have finished moving. We're just going to have to hope that uh, Avengers 1st Cavalry can intercept the 3rd Legion here. They might just take Hatra, but uh, if they do, I guess we can just go and take that. And uh, we've forgotten Warriors back on their way back up now with Hormids. And we're going to swap out a lot of these Eastern Horse Skirmishers for better cavalry when we get to Sessiphon because um, our leader definitely deserves a better army. Uh, one thing I could also look at is mercenaries. We can get some more mercenary Syrian armoured elephants here. Considering how well they've been doing for us, that could be a choice. I guess we don't have to. And it would cost me 750 a turn just to upkeep those, so avoiding that is absolutely fine. Right, with our cash here, we will want to upgrade Salamis to get the military pier. I finished my research in order to do that, so may as well get that done. And uh, Edgar here, let's upgrade it to a royal large city to improve our eastern cultural influence in the province. Um, that's everything done then. Let's move on to the next turn. I think declaring on Stabo is probably a really good idea. It looks like Armenia lost their army near Tarsus though. The Saba actually owns the capital of that province that we're trying to take in Arabia. It kind of is a bit annoying that we'll have to go back on ourselves with the armies, but it won't take too long. My lord would have me propose a treaty between us. I will go further and humbly request such a thing. Uh, Nabatea would like a non-aggression pact, which we are going to decline for now. And Plague. New outbreak at BAM. Our people have lived in filth for so long that now a terrible plague is culling their numbers. We have a lot of sanitation here, don't we? The squalor is currently two. Does that count per settlement? The outbreak risk was 2%, I'm assuming, and it still, there still was an outbreak. That's pretty savage. <laughs> That's unlucky. Um, let's have a look at what we can re uh, research now. We just finished the ta taxation of nobles. We'll go for the irrigation infrastructure seems that uh, getting more sanitation may be a priority now. Maidanis no can continue with his uh, military sabotage. Come from the darkness. And we're just <laughs> chunking that army, literally destroying it just with our spy. Uh, Palmis can head towards Marib. We'll see if there's much ahead of us. There are three armies. We destroyed one, so I'm pretty sure that with some poisoning from Parmis we can get the job done. Uh, we also have relatively good replenishment. Maybe spend one more turn in this province, just so that I get these guys a few more men. My lord. And that would also give Parmis a couple of turns to start poisoning. Many faces. All right, this agent needs to go check out Antioch for us. Maybe even hit the Legion of the Empress. I go. We and Rostam's you. Companions is in range to hit Antioch this turn. I feel like that's probably a good idea. Even with the Legion of the Empress just outside. The Legion of the Empress is reinforcing this battle. Okay. I guess then we will need 
some siege equipment. Oh, a night attack. That increases our chances no end. I believe that's because it doesn't allow the Legion of the Empress to get involved. There we go. The benefit of having night battles. Raise Antioch. And that's going to complete our mission next turn, actually. So we will make sure to convert this and convert the port. Go for the well. Uh, we'll go for the city center and the courier post. Get the royal sanctuary going at Thapsicus. And he can now actually hit this guy, so we'll go for the poison provisions. Guessing that's something to do with being in friendly territory there, giving us some extra campaign map movement range. But he has ranked up. Go to furtiveness. Arsimis has also ranked up. I think the extra philosophy is probably the best shout. 84% Eastern cultural influence though. Not going to be long until I want to leave there and uh, put him elsewhere. I guess we could maybe move him down here into the province of Judea where we want to make some more Eastern influence. At your service. Ready for battle. And we have the Forgotten Warriors now coming up. Hatcher was taken Ready for orders. by Lydia. My Lord. Okay, let's get uh, Avengers First Cavalry to start heading in that direction. We'll get him onto the roads. On the move, my Lord. And that will do for now. And we're going to have the Forgotten Warriors zoom back up here. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I am going to leave it. We have Schmidt's Commandos and the Fury of Verathragna moving on Malib in the next episode. We also have the Forgotten Warriors and Avengers First Cavalry taking their first blow at uh, Lydia. So that will be very nice indeed. It seems as though Armenia was taken out of their capital at Tigrana Serta. We want to try and keep Armenia alive if we can. Because they will produce larger armies later on. And they are in a decent position to help out. But uh, yeah, that's all going to be in the next episode. We'll sort all of that out. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.